Hi, thank you for joining me today. And in today's process video, I'm going to be using Vicky Booten Where To Next, and I'm going to be doing a monochromatic layout using yellows and blacks. So first of all, I wanted to use this work, this globe stencil from the collection, and I wanted to use it as a stamp. So you can see I've put down my scattered straw distress oxide, and then I've watered that down to make it into a watercolour. And now I'm just running the stencil through that paint and pressing it down onto my cardstock. You can see I'm just wiping any paint off the edges because I don't want that edge to show. I just want it to be the globes and I want to have a full strip down the right hand side. So I'm starting at the top of the page and just going over it a couple of times to make sure that the paint's in all areas that I want. And then I shall continue at the bottom of the page. The picture that I'm documenting is of a family trip to Wasabi, which is a teppanyaki grill in a local village, Stockton Heath. So um, I wanted to use the globes to show that it's world food, if you like. I just thought that tied in quite nicely. So I wanted to do this as my background. So as you can see, just continuing to add some more ink, put that stencil through the watered down ink and then stamp it onto the page. And like I say, just making sure that there's no paint on those edges because I don't want to have that border around the globes. I just want the globes. And looking at the finished layout, um, once again, I've done all this <laughs> work. Most of it is actually covered up, but you can still see the globes peeking through. And I really do like the effect of this. So nearly there now, just going back over the top again, um, adding a bit more ink. And then I shall put this to one side to dry. I do add uh, some splatters as well, just to, I don't know, it's a kind of messy technique. It's You're not going to get really crisp images, although you can see that they're globes. Once it dries, it does work really nicely. But I just felt that the splatters would help with that look, <laughs> I guess. A sort of shabby chic look really, isn't it? So here are the splatters, just with a paintbrush and the um, leftover watercolour on the mat and then I'll leave that to dry. So now it's dry, I'm pulling out some papers to map my photo onto. These are from the 6x8 paper pad. So it's a horizontal landscape photo. So the um, width of the paper works perfectly on that. So just a couple of mats. I've chosen a scripty paper which has a little bit of yellow on it and then a more orangey yellow piece for the second piece. I shall offset them against one another and glue it down. And I was happy with the positioning here, so I'm just peeling up the layers to add my sticks to tape runner and get those glued down. And then once they're down, I decide that I do want to distress the edges. So just using my fingernails to run around the edges of both those papers just to add a slight distress look. So now I want to add some papers behind that photo on top of the mixed media that I've got there. So first of all, this um, it's like a black graph paper that I'd gutted from a previous layout. And then this black and white floral. And they're going to act as the vertical pieces. And then the horizontal piece, I've got this gorgeous new stamp from Dark Room Door. It's one of their abstract stamps and it's called This Way. And it's just like a herringbone chevron. I absolutely adore it, so I wanted to use this as a feature piece going across the page, pointing towards the photo. So I just um, stamped it a couple of times on some scrap paper just to make sure that the image was crisp. And then using my archival ink in black, I've just stamped that straight the way across the middle of the page. So I'm distressing the edges of the papers that I've got as the photo mats. And then once I've got those down, I can start embellishing around the photo. So that chevron um, line that I've created with my new stamp, I'm going to use that as the shelf, if you like, for my title. So you'll see that shortly, just distressing these edges. Sorry, I, I hadn't realised I'd left all of this in. I probably should have cut a little bit of this out. You don't need to see me distressing all the edges of the paper. So just popping those two down, checking that I'm happy with the positioning of the photo and then I can glue them down. And I've learned to turn the paper so that I can see that it's straight against that edge <laughs> rather than trying to do it from a distance and not get my head in the way of the camera. 
So really happy with how those are looking and I'm trying to keep the photo higher up the page. Um, I just like the look of that on this layout. So remembering not to put it centrally. So now going through the sticker book and um, straight away I saw this black and white, black and gold sheet and one of the stickers said on the menu and the other one was a little sticker of a plate with a knife and fork. So I thought they would work lovely with this photo and then also the camera. And now I'm going in with the Where To Next thickers to, to spell out the name of the restaurant that we're at. And it's called Wasabi and it's a teppanyaki grill. So I'm going to put Wasabi down using these Vicky Bootin thickers. And then I shall come in with my Doodle Bug yellow thickers to write teppanyaki grill. And I'll put that right the way across those chevrons, that stamped chevron image. So now those thickers are down and coming in with the Doodle Bug ones. And I start from the end of the word so that I finish in the correct place, if that makes sense. <laughs> so spelling backwards. Now using a piece from the ephemera pack, just to add a little something at the top there, a little tab. And now I'm going to go through the papyri papers to see what I've got there. And I find this washi tape sticker that says weekend plans. I am going to cover over the plans because it's it was just the weekend. It wasn't, I didn't want to say weekend plans. I just wanted to say it was the weekend. And then I find this train ticket that's yellow. So I want to use that and this um, orange piece. It's more, it's like a orangey yellow and it's all in keeping with the colors that I'm choosing for this layout. So just nestling that up the top there. And I love how these layers are coming together. And then I find this um, tag, which I want to use at the bottom and that covers that plans word really nicely. So adding that to the bottom. Now a little bulldog clip on the photo. That's one of my favorite things of doing at the moment. I do, when I'm using a Vicky Booting collection, she has so many of these bulldog clips. <laughs> I do tend to gravitate towards them and add them to the top of the photo. A little geotag next to the title of the restaurant and one of our smiley faces from Hey Little Magpie, the um, suede ones. Now I do mess about with these a little bit. I'm thinking of using two, uh, but I'm not quite sure where to put this second one. And I can't work out the position. And then I remember I wanted to use this arrow flare because it's yellow. <laughs> so... Again, that's another flare badge from Hey Little Magpie. I think that was designed to go with the Spectrum Sherbet collection from 49er Market. But it goes really nicely with this layout. So I'm just going to move some of these stickers around. So that dinner plate, I'm moving slightly to the right because it was getting hidden by the other bits and pieces. And then the camera, I move above the um, on the menu sticker. And that's much better. I want to add a tangle of black thread underneath my flare just to add to that messy look that we've got going on. And then I finally settle on that place as the place for that gold star to go. And again, that's one of the padded stars that we sell at Hey Little Magpie in our bits and pieces range. So now I've just got these off cuts of paper from matting the photos and they catch my attention. I'm like a magpie. <laughs> so I decide to add a little piece at the bottom here. I trim off the bit I don't need and then just rough up the edges and that goes down. And it's just another little layer that adds interest. Oh, it's still moving that star around, but it does go back to where it was. So one at the bottom here, and then I find the scripty one. So I add that to the top. Again, just trimming off the excess, I can use that for another layout. And just roughing up these edges. And I really love how that just adds so much more to these layers with just a teeny tiny piece of paper. So now I find this guest receipt piece from the ephemera pack. Um, obviously that's upside down and I don't want that. So I decided to trim it off just below where it says date. And then I can tuck, rough up the edges and tuck that underneath. And that just fills up that tag nicely because I didn't want to add my journaling onto that tag. And it looks very blank at the moment. So just adding that piece there really fills that out. Now adding some wax twine to the tag because I can't have a tag without some twine on it. So just wrapping that round and I use my tiny attacher stapler to secure that in place. And here's that puffy star, <laughs> finally goes back there. So now coming in with my journaling. So just using my 
T-square ruler to add my guidelines and then add in the journaling there. And then the roller date stamp underneath, just messily added. And then some gold and black splatters. So first of all, with my gold watercolour paint, just going in and adding splatters all the way around, keeping it close to where the actual layout is, not going into the blank space above and below the title. I just wanted to keep the splatters tight around the photo, really. And then here's my black paint. So just watering that down slightly. And then coming in with a very small paintbrush to add some small black splatters. And that's it done. I really hope you've enjoyed this. I do love monochromatic layouts. And once again, it's another one with Where To Next that isn't a travel layout. It's such a versatile collection. I urge you to go and have a look at it if you haven't already. It's gorgeous. And um, I, think, I think that's all I do to this layout. I'm just double checking. Yep, that's it. So thank you so much for joining me. And I shall see you again on Thursday for another video. Thanks so much. Bye.